The effect of lameness on animal welfare and animal performance is costly and wide-reaching. Whether you're a large-scale livestock operator or a family pet owner, the sight of an animal in pain is distressing and must be addressed. To shed new light on this important issue, Zinpro Corporation is proud to sponsor Experts Talk, the place where leading authorities on foot health and lameness prevention share their expertise. This episode of Experts Talk examines the prevention and control of digital dermatitis, a common infectious foot disease in cattle. Our expert today is Dr. Durda Dopfer. Dopfer is one of the world's most recognized experts on digital dermatitis, which is commonly called hairy heel warts. Digital dermatitis epidemiology was actually my master's thesis 20 years ago, and the project just kept going on and on and never really left my dossier and here I am still doing digital dermatitis research. We have been looking for alternative and adjunct treatment forms to um, prevent and control digital dermatitis for many, many years. Hoof bath fluids that are out there are, for example, copper sulfate with all the environmental impl um, negative environmental implications of those. You don't want to be dumping copper sulfate for until the end of times onto alfalfa fields until alfalfa doesn't grow anymore. Formaldehyde is used um, extensively in some parts of the world but has, because of its carcinogenic qualities, has health implications for the workers involved in managing those hoof baths. It cannot be healthy for cows either and I think we should be aware of that. So any aid, any benefit in, 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 in adding preventive measures would be very welcome. Having known the team at Zimpro for many years, because as you know, we are, we've been in interaction for many years. Um, one day there came this idea, why not try a um, particular formulation and there the, it is part of what the Zimpro intellect has, this is nothing that we developed, but why not try this to um, to create this skin pathogen border in a more resilient form because you had indications from other um, trials that this might be an option. And since digital dermatitis has this skin pathogen border disrupted, if we could prevent that from happening, it would be beneficial for the cow's claw health. Since the interaction between skin and bacteria under very unfavorable hygienic conditions is part of this pathogenesis of dis digital dermatitis, anything that would make that skin pathogen border more resilient towards infection would, would be very welcome. We were about to give up when we thought, okay, we're going to mimic what the farmers really see when they walk their um, their cattle while they're in head gates. And this is something that a farmer does on a routine basis or should be doing, the so-called pen walks. So while you're walking behind the feet, we um, scored what type of lesions in terms of acute active lesions and chronic lesions were visible, even through the normal manure feet that you have, you know, visible during, during those pen walks and tallied them for 16 weeks with weekly pen walks in, in pre-breeding heifers, actually. So those were the youngest animals we ever tried. And we're surprised that there were actually significant differences in prevalences of first lesions, um, first and recurrent lesions between the treatment and control group. This is why we're here today, I guess, to right. document that we have found this difference um, and to discuss further what the impl Im uh, impact of that finding is.
what I would hope to see in terms of a change might be different from what reality tells us. But I think we are drawing increasing attention to these pre-calving heifers that are currently really not watched over well when it comes to claw health. So if we could already focus on them as an investment for their first lactation and make them come into their first lactation even healthier in terms of claw diseases, um, that would be beneficial for their productive lives. And I believe that where we are heading to is drawing more attention, typing them, producing proper records even before they ever calve, um, talking and discussing the possibility of having properly designed and dimensioned hoof baths that are strictly managed, you know, in a stubborn way, in a well-designed way, um, together with other preventive measures where, for example, a, um, a feed supplement could play a role, then I think we are moving towards this integrated prevention and control strategy that comes even as early, comes in and starts as early as calving, uh, of calf age. Thank you for watching this episode of Experts Talk. Additional episodes are available at zinpro.com. Experts Talk, promoting foot health, preventing lameness.